Hello there, and welcome to the introduction to Pandas video course. My name is Rodrigo, and I'm going to help you get started in the world of Python and Pandas and data science. Now, one thing you must understand is that Pandas is a very big tool. It has a lot of functions and methods to learn about, and therefore, when you finish this video course, you will not be a Pandas master. However, you will have gone end-to-end -end through a complete, let's call it, data science project. You're going to ask a question, you're going to get data to help you answer the question, and you're going to use Pandas to answer your question, and you're going to do every single thing along the way. Nothing will be done for you, so you will get the full experience of working on a Pandas project but it will be a small Pandas project, so just keep that in mind. So this is very good if you've never seen how Pandas works and you're just here to get a taste of what it feels like to work with Pandas. So more specifically, in this video course, you're going to learn to collect data from the internet, learn how to read and write data locally, work with Pandas data frames, you're going to understand what these data frames are, and finally, you're going to interpret the results of your analysis. So that's what you will do throughout this video course. Now, before you get started, you have to set everything up, and that's what you'll do in the next lesson. To get started with your Pandas project, you're going to need to install a couple of things. Naturally, you will need to install Pandas because that's what you'll use to manipulate your data. You'll also install Jupyter, which is a notebook interface that you'll use to work with pandas and to make it easier to explore and work with the data. And finally, you're going to install LXML, which is a dependency that you will need in order to be able to fetch your data from the internet. So pandas and Jupyter are two of the cornerstone dependencies for all data science projects and LXML. You might not always need this, but for this project, you will need this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open your terminal, you're going to navigate into a new folder where you're comfortable moving things around, modifying things, installing things so that you can work in this project. Once your terminal is open, make sure to create an empty virtual environment so that when you install the three dependencies that were mentioned before, that's not going to clash with anything else you have installed already. So go ahead and run, assuming you're using pip, python-m pip install, and then the three dependencies, which were pandas, Jupyter, and lxml. Give it a second. And once everything is installed, you want to make sure that it was correctly installed. So go ahead and run the Python REPL, try importing pandas. Now this might take a couple of seconds if it's the first time you're importing pandas in a fresh new virtual environment, but because you didn't get a module not found error, it's probably fine. Again, just wait a second, see if it works. It did work, so this should be okay. You're going to go ahead and try to import LXML and might as well try to import Jupyter all right, so these three modules have been installed correctly. And in the next lesson, you're going to start working with these to fetch your data from the internet. Now that you have everything installed, it's time to get cracking. So the first thing you need is some data. For that, you're going to open the Wikipedia page that has a list of countries and dependencies by population. And the link for that page can be found under this video, so you don't have to type this out by hand. Once you open the link, you should see a page that looks like this. Now, if you scroll down, you will find a table that includes an ordered list with countries and dependencies and their population. And what you're going to do in this project is figure out what's the average size of a country. So you can see there's countries here with more than 1 billion inhabitants. And if you keep scrolling down, you see that number go down and down and down until you get to countries that have fewer than 1 million inhabitants. So what's the average size of a country? That's what you're going to figure out. And for that, you're going to do two steps. You're going to download that page and you're going to turn it into a format that pandas can use so that pandas can extract the table with the data 
from that Wikipedia page. So go ahead and open your terminal. And once you're in your terminal, run the command Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter space Notebook. So you can start the Notebook interface. Once you do, you will see some output and it should open a tab in your default browser. Once you're in the Jupyter Notebook interface, go ahead and click File New Notebook so that you create a new notebook in which you can work. And now that you're in your new notebook, you're going to grab the data from the internet. And for that, you're going to use the module URL lib from the Python standard library. In order to be able to fetch the data, you're going to need to grab the URL of the Wikipedia page and save it in the URL variable. And then you're going to create a request object. And this request object represents the page that you want to grab and some information you're going to pass to the server, to the Wikipedia server. And in this case, you just need to say that the user agent is something. You need to set it to something and an empty string will do. And once you have your request object, you're going to get your response by using URL lib .request.url open and you pass it the request object. So this represents the step of getting data. Every data project starts with getting some data. It might be from an API, a database, or in this case, from the internet. So you're going to run this, and then you're going to print the response code, which you're hoping is 200. Once you get the response code, you're going to use pandas to turn this response into something pandas can work with. So you're going to go ahead and import pandas, and the first rule of pandas is that you abbreviate it as pd. Now, when I say rule, I really just mean convention, since when you're using pandas, you're going to type it out so much that it ends up being worth abbreviating it as pd. But it's just a convention that you will find when you read other people's code. And once you have it, you're going to create a variable called tables, which comes from reading the HTML, so pd.readHTML, and then you use response.read. And now you run this. And you can see it, but in this step, you used LXML, the extra dependency you installed previously. Without it, read HTML does not work. And now if you print tables, it's going to be a Python list with pandas objects. Pandas went through the page, through the Wikipedia page, and grabbed all of the tables it could find. And in your project, you just want the very first one. So you can say data equals tables of zero. And now you can take a look at data. And as you can see, the very first rows coincide with what you could see in the Wikipedia page. So this was the step of grabbing your data. In case you're having any issues with requesting this page from the internet and extracting the data from the internet and from the Wikipedia page, in the next lesson, you're going to learn how to work with data locally. So you will also have access to this data as a file you can download from the real Python interface in case you're having any issues with the Wikipedia page. So stay tuned for that.